So in this third demo, we are going to look at clean, transform, and load data in Power BI. So in effect, we're going to use Power Query and the M language to do some transformations. All right, so we're going to do some transformations to our query. So I'm going to select the product table. And firstly, let me just turn off some of uh, some of these columns. So column distribution, column profile, and column quality I'll get rid of. Then, um, as I scroll across here, I'm going to get rid of uh, retail price, photo, and sales. Now, there's a few ways I can do this. I can hold down the control key, select the columns, right-click, remove columns, or I can come up to transform, choose columns, and then just unselect the ones I don't want. I'm just going to go with the delete for now. They all end up in the same place, but if I right-click and remove on here, well, we get a removed columns tab added to the applied steps. All right, that's removing those columns. Then next, I'm going to change the data type. Uh, there's a channels column in here. I'm going to change it to whole number. All right, so changing it from a decimal number to a whole number. And then I'm going to rename some columns. And again, there's a couple of ways I can do this. Um, but things like I'm going to rename, in effect, um, these columns here, product SKU, product name, item group, um, and just behind that is kit type. All right, so we're going to rename those. You can right click and choose rename, or you can simply double click on the column header. I'm going to call that SKU. Product name, we're going to rename to, I'm just going to call that product. Item group, we're just going to put a space in, remove that camel case, and I'm going to scroll over a little bit. And I've got kit type here, double click on kit type, put the space in. All right, and they're probably the transformations I want to apply to my product table. I'm going to come across to the sales query here. And in here, I'm going to remove all columns except uh, order date, product ID, quantity, and unit price. So now I'm going to come up to this choose columns option. I could do this either way. This is just the easiest way to do it. Choose columns, choose columns, deselect all. And then I'm going to say I want order date, product ID, quantity and unit price. Click on OK and then we get a, a removed other columns applied step added to our applied steps. I'm going to change the data type of unit price to be a fixed decimal. I'm going to rename that as well to get rid of the the camel case and put unit price in the name. And then I'm going to create a uh, I'm going to create a custom column. So I'm going to click custom column here. All right, and this custom column I'm going to call sales. All right, and sales is going to be a calculation of quantity multiplied by unit price. Click on OK. So we get a sales column, and I'm going to make that fixed decimal as well. OK. <clears throat> Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in some other queries, right? So I've got a product cost table uh, or some product cost data that's stored in an Excel file. So I'm going to bring that in, all right? So I'm going to come back to the home page. I'm going to come up to new source and I'm going to choose an Excel workbook. Now I'm going to drop down. I'm going to come to the C drive. I'm going to look for my PL300 folder. I'll come into this folder, come into all files, demo data. Right, and it's this product cost spreadsheet I want here. So I'm going to click on open and that'll bring in, as you'll see in just a second, a third query called product cost. Right, we will do. Right, you can see here in the navigator pane, we've got product cost and I will select this and bring it in. So if I choose product cost there, it gives me the preview and I'm going to click on OK. Now I can do some transformations to this new table. All right, so for example, uh, I wanna, uh, I'm going to bring in the product cost. So I'm going to make that a fixed decimal number. All right, and I'm going to choose replace current. Um, I'm going to select, I think that's all I want to do there. Yeah, I want to change the data type of product cost. That's fine. Um, and then I'm going to do a... Uh, a merge with the product query, right? So I'm now going to do some merging of these two data, these two queries into one. All right, so I'm going to select um, uh, product cost and I'm going to come up to merge queries here. So merge is a bit like a join in SQL. I'm going to click on merge queries. So in my product table, 
All right, I've got the, the columns and a sample of columns in there. I'm going to come down. I'm going to bring in product cost. All right, these are going to be joined on SKU. So I'm going to make sure that the products table and my new product cost query are related on SKU. You can see the join kind here. So we've got left outer. So we'll get everything from product table and where there's a match in product cost. All right, and you can see that it's all matched up. I'm going to click on OK. Right, and that brings in the product cost table into my product table. I'm then going to choose a little expander icon and I'm going to just bring in the product cost column. I'm going to click on OK to that right, and I'm going to rename this cost and then we're nearly good to go. The only thing is now, because I've taken the product cost data from what was in a spreadsheet and merged it into my product table, I don't necessarily want to load this into the report. So I can right click and choose uh, a deselect enable load. And you can see there the query goes into italics, which means it won't get loaded in to the final report. And all it leads us to do now is to take the data we've done these quick transformations on and load them into our report. So I'm going to hit close and apply. Um, close and apply and click on apply changes it'll go away and bring that data in for us you see they're up to about 250 300,000 350,000 rows and all the data is loaded from product and our sales table now We'll leave this where it is for demo 4, which will be coming up next.